All right, welcome back, everyone. Um, as you recall, I had uh, some significant uh, trouble recording uh, in this room, and I think it's because this computer has less memory. So I'm trying to, you know, kind of dance around this and uh, make sure that I can, uh, you know, maybe create shorter files. So um, we left uh, uh, last week. Um, after talking or after starting a project uh, that involved interfaces. So I'd like, to, first I'd like to sort of uh, clarify, uh, clarify the um, uh, concept and then perhaps uh, we can go back to the sample or maybe try even a different sample uh, that involves interfaces. So um, let's first just have a um, conversation about, um, uh, well, let me open a class diagram uh, using Violet. I already downloaded Violet and, and got it started. And so if I'm thinking about um, perhaps a flight simulator or some other maybe game-like environment for you know, controlling an aircraft, I may think about a concept such an aircraft, right? So that's natural. So if I double click this, uh, you know, class here, I might say uh, aircraft, uh, then um, I don't know what attributes it has, but uh, I can think about um, uh, methods. Uh, perhaps we can use the UML standard notation a public method to uh, say uh, uh, take off, right? Take off, whatever the parameters are. So I'll just abbreviate it to this. Uh, perhaps I should kind of indicate that uh, there is a constructor, something like that. Uh, take off, uh, land, right? To land the aircraft, it would be possible to do. Then uh, perhaps also. I could say set course, you know, j just to control it uh, through the set of instruments. But set course would be one possibility. Um, something that says uh, set uh, altitude, right? Then I could also say um, uh, maybe set speed, something like that. Okay, so these are all po all the p possibilities for you know perhaps uh, using an aircraft. So another um, uh, another uh, class uh, which I could have here would represent a player in the game or the user of the flight simulator, whichever model of the application is. It would be just a pilot, right? So pilot perhaps is, has a constructor named pilot. Right, and we can think about some other method that this particular class could have. Um, interesting is that there may be, uh, you know, there it could be that um, we may need to a decision regarding who has access to who. Most likely, I would probably want to associate it this way. So if I go to back to the attributes. I can say that um, uh, there is a private attribute, right? So that represents an aircraft, right? And the type of this uh, attribute is aircraft, right? So somehow, perhaps the constructor of the pilot takes a particular uh, instance, a reference to an instance of an aircraft, and so the pilot has access to an aircraft. That's, that's fine. In this case, uh, what UML suggests, because this happens all the time, uh, we call it a composition of objects. So that the pilot has access to another part, to another object, and it's called an aircraft. Uh, for, for, um, because this happens all the time, uh, UML actually expects us to use an association uh, line when something like this happens. So if you um, uh, activate an association line and connect 
it this way maybe, right? So the association line <coughs> simply indicates that pilot has access to an aircraft. Well, obviously this suggests that pilot has access to the public interface of class aircraft. Uh, because this error indicates exactly the fact that the pilot has uh, a member variable, a reference to the aircraft, this uh, typically is not shown. This is sort of like removed, and so the change um, that that you can mm, uh, you can implement here is that um, you are showing that uh, uh, simply by association you assume that the pilot has access to the aircraft object. So you typically don't uh, populate this area, mm, uh, kind of duplicating this this idea through the data attribute which is an, a reference to another object and also an association. Association works in UML quite fine. Okay, um, the next thing I'd like to um, um, I'd like to sort of um, try to develop would be um, that um, if I had um, if I have an if I had an idea um, of something that's called an interface, and that particular interface, if I if I might you know try this particular facility here, and uh, typically I name interfaces with an uppercase I, but uh, here in Violet they also use like like quote symbols around it, so I'll keep the quote, but I'll name it an autopilot, right? So, so uh, perhaps my aircraft could, um, could support an interface uh, typically provided by an autopilot. So what could be there? Perhaps, um, you know, a number of things. I could possibly use a number of these set um, methods Right, so if I double click here and say methods, um, uh, I could say that um, my auto autopilot interface, just an idea that there could be an interface named autopilot, which includes those methods. So let me, without risking it, right, 